You have heard that it was said Love your friends hate your enemies But now I tell you Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you so that you may become the sons of your father in heaven for he makes his sun to shine on bad and good people alike and gives rain to those who do good and to those who do evil why should god reward you if you love only the people who love you even the tax collectors do that and if you speak only to your friends have you done anything out of the ordinary even the pagans do that you must be you love only the people who love you even the tax collectors do that and if you speak only to your friends have you done anything out of the ordinary even the pagans do that you must be perfect just as your father in heaven is perfect my dear friends today let us meditate on the gospel of matthew chapter 5 verses 43 to 48 in today's gospel jesus gives us the meaning and reason of christian love the word used in Greek, as we know, is agape, meaning no matter what a person does to us, no matter how he treats us, insults us, or injures us, or grieves us, we will never allow any bitterness against him or her to invade our hearts, but regard the good of that person. Jesus laid down this love as a basis for personal relationship. This commandment of Jesus is possible only for a Christian because only the grace of Jesus Christ can be able to have this sort of love for one another. Today's Gospel and Christian love also urges us to pray for those who intend evil against us. We can't go on hating another person in the presence of God. Therefore, my dear friends, the surest way of killing bitterness, a killing an enemy, is to pray for that person when we are tempted actually to hate that person. Let us pray for our enemies, those who hate us, those who persecute us, through various means so that we may be worthy disciple of your worthy master who died for us all.